Howdy folks, it's Angel the Hunting Gear Guy. Do you want to go fast? How fast? How fast do you even know your bullets are going? Deja vu, I've just been in this place before. Higher on the street and I know it's my turn to go. Well, the old way to do this is to get a regular chronograph, put it down range, put those little aerials up, hope that you shoot in the middle and don't put a bullet through your chronograph, but do it every once in a while anyways. Uh, get some missed readings because of the, I don't know, atmospheric conditions and the bullet not going in the same spot every time. Or you get one of the lab radars, which are kind of expensive, don't work the best with 22s, um, but otherwise they're like are really cool, give you like downrange ballistics and all that kind of stuff. Or you get a magneto speed. Now this particular one uh, belongs to my buddy Tommy, uh, and I've had it since before coronavirus. I'm hoping that by reviewing it, I'm like I'm letting him know like, hey, I need to get this back to you. <laughs> uh, this is particularly the V3, which is their uh, pimped out version. It's got more of the accessories and that kind of thing. Uh, why don't we go tabletop and take a closer look at this thing. All right, as this is the V3, it comes in a hard case and it's got a whole mitt full of stuff inside. So we've got the unit itself. We've got this guide rod that lets you uh, check how it's uh, working against the barrel. Uh, we've got spots for SD cards, nine volt batteries. Uh, there's our display unit. And we've got a couple of different cords. We've got like a little retractable style, hard cord style, some different screws and whatnot. But uh, you don't need most of that stuff. Mostly what you need to do is uh, adjust the spacers on this until you've got it to the right spot on your, uh, uh, on your barrel. And really what you want, and I'll, sh I'll show you this in an overlay, is you need to get the uh, the bore to get as close to this unit as possible, but not hit it. So that's what you use this for, is you compare that against the, uh, the bore of the rifle. So why don't we take this out to the range? I'll show you how it works there, but it's, it's very easy. This unit itself has uh, a couple different spots to pull off of uh, for the signal. So you've got one spot right there, and you've got another spot on the bottom as well. So either of those will work. Let's just, uh, for the, for sake of doing the video, we'll just get in the bottom there. And then this guy here, this sending unit, uh, what, what, or receiving unit, I guess, it just kind of sits on, on your table like that. Uh, you've got a little bit of distance here and then it plugs in right at the top there. And as soon as it plugs in, it starts up, uh, it goes through its startup little phase there and then it's ready to go. So you can adjust sensitivity if you're running with a, uh, a bullet that's maybe not uh, picking up very well, you can crank the sensitivity up a little bit and uh, make it more sen sensitive. Um, but otherwise, you can just uh, run it and uh, and off you go. You can see here, these are uh, some strings from some 22 that I was shooting. Uh, you can see that you can uh, see your last shots. You can see your min, max, average, and SD as well. It's all very easy to see, and you can scroll through it uh, very quickly as well to see the different shots that are recorded on that. It's recorded on SD card, so you can pull that out if you need to. Um, otherwise, uh, just seeing it on the display is, is enough for me. So you can see there, setting this up at the range is pretty easy. As long as your, your barrel has a little bit of room under it so you can strap to that barrel, uh, it's fine. Uh, they do have um, a Picatinny uh, rail adapter that you can use if you've got a forend that, that goes quite a bit, uh, quite far out on your gun. Uh, so that's an option as well. Um, but really, like this is ideal for a gun that you need to run a lot of testing through. So if you're shooting PRS or uh, you're reloading for a rifle and you want to find like the ideal uh, around for it. This is, this is very, very convenient. Uh, you can check your speeds, you can check your SDs to see if there's a, a, a wide velocity range in the cartridge that you're reloading. Uh, you can leave it strapped to the rifle, let the rifle cool off, put it on the racket if you really need to, bring it back to the line, keep shooting with it, and the uh, magneto speed just stays strapped to it the whole time. So super convenient from that uh, perspective. Very easy to get lots of readings out of it. Uh, you don't need a table in front of you to run one of those shoot through cronies. Um, and while this magneto speed is expensive, it's not as expensive as something like the lab radar. And the lab radar uh, doesn't work great with uh, with 22s in my experience. Uh, this works fine with 22s. I think the only cartridge that I had problems uh, getting the magneto speed to pick up was uh, these weird centered copper bullets 
uh, from 22LR, it wouldn't pick those up. But I I can't really blame it for it. It's copper. How's it supposed to how's it supposed to detect that coming over it? So uh, it didn't run well with those, but it ran well with everything else. Centerfire 22. It they all just ran fine. It picked them all up. Uh, it gave me what looked like uh, good velocity readings. Uh, and the convenience factor is very, very high. So uh, Magneto Speed's a, a really neat crony, and uh, you should check it out. Thanks for watching.